Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to test your soil and why it is so important. But before we get into today's video, folks, if you wouldn't mind, if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. And for those of you that have already subscribed, thank you so much. I really do appreciate all the support. And if you guys wouldn't mind, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really does help. Okay, folks, so if you wanna support our farm, uh, before we get into today's video, I will leave all those links in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. We have a bunch of stuff that you could purchase if you'd like to support our farm. Um, and we also have our friends, uh, Sustainable Plant Instagram down there as well. Check them out because that is who we use to test our soil. And we love those guys. And we're going to really deep dive into it today um, of the steps of how to test your soil and why it's so important. And our friends at Sustainable Plant really do a awesome job of testing our soil and really giving us a leg up so to speak when it comes to growing our plants okay folks so as you can see i am down here in the barren grow area it has been several months now since we have pulled the plants and harvested them and it's time to let the soil rest but in the meantime we also have to take our soil samples because at this point right now as the soil sits it is its most depleted. So what we're gonna do, as you see, we have the grow mats down. Um, we use those throughout the summer to keep the weeds down and they do a great job. But now comes the time we have to pull them up, let the soil breathe and take our soil sample. So first thing we're gonna do, pull these mats up. It's a beautiful day today here in Virginia, close to 70 degrees, so short t-shirt weather. We're gonna pull these mats up, get them up, and then we're gonna start talking about sampling the soil to send it off. Okay folks, so now that we've uh, taken up the mats, what we're gonna be doing is taking six soil plugs. What we like to do is probably one from each corner-ish, and then we take two from the center randomly. These are all random samples, and that's key to getting a good soil reading uh, when we send it out to get tested. Now, why is this so important? We really got our eyes opened last year to how important it is to feed these plants what they need. You know, uh, in 2019, when we first started growing here on the farm, we really were behind in a feeding schedule. We were constantly feeding the plants. Well, in 2020, that all changed. We really never even fed the plants. We did some foliar sprays, and that's really it. Um, so that made a huge difference in the amount of time and energy spent in these plants. So now what we're going to do is take these soil plugs and uh, prepare them to send to sustainable plant. And once we do that, we're going to talk about uh, the next steps after you take your soil samples. Okay, folks, so this is pretty self-explanatory, but this is how we take a plug of dirt. We want to scratch away all the organic material, if there's any weeds or anything like that. And then you just take a little spoonful here with the spade. About that. Put it in the bag. And that's it. We do six plugs here. We've already done five. But I wanted to demonstrate how we take a plug of soil. And this is uh, what will be going to uh, sustainable plant. You get these plants out of here. Um, and they will test it for us and they'll give us a result. And we'll talk about that result once they give it to us and uh, we'll explain what we're going to be adding for next year. Okay, so we've taken all the samples, folks, uh, six to be exact, and pretty much how I showed you is how we do it. I mean, it's a Ziploc bag, six soil samples from random selections inside the grow area, package them up, and we send them to our friends at Sustainable Plant. And again, guys, if you are interested in doing a soil test with Sustainable Plant, I will leave their Instagram down in the description below along with their website. They are fantastic, and I highly recommend them. They uh, can get as specific to what you exactly want to grow, whether it's tomatoes, flowers, whatever. They are really, really good at getting it down to an exact science. 
So the next steps, now that we have them in our Ziploc bag, we are going to package them up through USPS and we're going to send them out to our friends and they're going to give us a reading. And then with that reading, we will be able to determine what we need to add to our soil for the 2021 grow season. It's as simple as that folks, but it's really, really, really important because it really does save a lot of time and the plants are way healthier uh, and with a lot less maintenance. So it's really important that you test your soil. And once we get the readings, we will do another video. So keep your eye out for that video as well. But that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. You can always find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And those links will be in the description below as well. You can always email me if you'd like to support the farm. Those links are below as well. But that is all I have for today, folks. I really hope you stay happy, healthy, and I will see you in another video.